So welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live stream with live peoples. Um, and I'm going away this weekend, so I thought I'd just go through my uh, my collection of what I'm going to take with me. So just bear with me a second. I'll zoom in and then uh, you can see a bit better. So you're seeing all my dirty desk. <laughs> right. So I'm going to take my Derwent Pastels pencils because <clears throat> uh, pastels are a bit too dusty and they're actually all in my big beautiful box there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Derwent art bag which is um, they're about 12, 12 to 15 pounds and it has a pocket on the front now I do have a large phone so if, if I'm inside I just pop it in there Mine will actually, and mine's one of the biggest phones you can get, so it will go in there and be sealed. But if I'm just going in the car, I'll put my riggers, uh, all my long thin paintbrushes, um, and it will just kind of carry like this. I do zip it up though. But if I'm going anywhere else, which probably I don't do anymore, I wouldn't put anything in here that was valuable really. Um, although I'm sure it would be fine. So I've been looking through my colour books of what I want to take with me. So in here we have the zippy compartment. I've got my blenders. Now my hands are really bad at the moment so I don't know if I'm going to use these but I will take them with me. So I've got the blending tools. I am going to take um, and I'm not going to take this. I used it yesterday and I completely annihilated a whole pencil because if you can see every time it got to its end it snapped. Uh, so I will be using which I don't think is actually in here which is why we're packing now. So I'm going to take my water brushes because I seal my pastels with a damp brush and at the moment I can't use a damp brush so I'm just looking for my blade um, now I can use this one but it doesn't have a guard on it but it's basically a scalpel blade exactly the same um, I normally have one in my pencil case but because Oh, I snapped it. Yeah, I snapped it. So I need to put a new blade on that. You've got to be really careful with these. Wear glasses when you redo the blade, when you replace the blade, and wear glasses when you use them. Because if they snap, they will fly. So you have to be really careful. And less force is best. They are very sharp. All you need to do is just very gently slide them across as many times as it takes. Any pushing down pressure and you're likely to be extremely badly hurt. So word of warning. But I've been using one a long time. I do have a Faber-Castell pencil pointer. It's like, um, it's like an emery board. So you could use a finger emery board if you wanted. Um, I normally have an eraser on the end of there, but, oh, and I have my erasers, my spare erasers, and because I went away, I actually took some pencils to do some drawing. I took my, I actually have a lot of things in here, some drawing pens. So I've got my electric eraser, which goes in there. I don't think there is um, a blade in there. Nope. I don't know how many pencil cases I want to take with me, but these are all my drawing pens. And don't seem to have what I was looking for. I 
I will find a blade <clears throat> because I mustn't take this with me because it will damage these. And I do need my pencil sharpening guard as well so that's to protect your fingers. So I have all that into there. I have my Derwent 72 pencils and I also have my 90 vintage set as well. But I think I'm going to start and use more of the 72. But I will take them all with me because I'm there all weekend and you can guarantee that if you do not take the set you want, you will want it. So these are a lot softer as you can see here. There's a lot more pastel at the end than there is on the the Derwents and they've made them slightly stronger so you can put a colour book in here if you wish um, this is the thinnest one I know the Colin Thompson one goes in I tend to because I'm taking actually three books to work from because I am going to be behind a model railway stall um, for several hours every day for three days so I'm going to be I need to be occupied so I've got and there's plenty of room in there for anything else if I want it so I can put more pencils in there if I want so I've got my pastel pencils I've got um, three colour books which are a little bit thinner uh, but still have some kind of really gorgeous vintage colours which match really well with pastels so I tend to match what colour uh, what I use um, for instance next to me I have my my neos but I'm not going to use the neos in here because I'd need a water brush or I'd need a rigger um, and I don't really want to do that I want to get these beautiful soft pastel colours so the neos I would not be using in these three books so I know I can quite happily take all these books the the beauties of nature color book which has hundreds of gorgeous gorgeous vintagey type colors and shades which you can get all this gorgeous line work with the pastels and I blend them and then I run a very barely damp rigger over the top and it, it makes it from a pastel it sets it so it's already been made as a pastel I think there is a video about the clover girl with this um, I think I actually blended it with a, a damp rigger and, and as you can see on the back it's perfectly okay but if you used a water brush it would go through especially with this paper but a very just a barely damp rigger will blend pastels or a blending tool blending pastels which I've also got videos on and then you can just very carefully rub a, a damp rigger over the top a damp soft brush very fine brush barely damp and that will set the pastel so it's no longer a pastel uh, it's become a watercolor and it's set so you don't have to use fixatives and I was really pleased that I could match these colors up so it sometimes takes you a long time to do that so I've got the enchanted fairies coloring book and I've also got Maria Marian's butterfly coloring book as well and I'll just turn that light out see if it's slightly better the lights dimmed in the in the evening and again these are all turn of the century or before vintage type type colors but absolutely gorgeous but there's no reason using vintage pastels you cannot match the colors up and because the colors are there you know I, I love this vintage colors um, a lot of the new colours that are coming out don't have hookers greens and and um, gamboge and old old really original probably van um, Rembrandt's watercolour colours. But the older ones, the 60s, the 50s, 60s, and 70s colours do. Um, and I like these old vintage colours here. 
So there's no reason to better them. I can't better these colours. I'm going to match them. But that's really good to colour match and to make colours to match uh, uh, is, is, is another art skill, which is really, really important. If you want to do, um, like I used to do, um, photorealism, because it doesn't matter how good you are at drawing butterflies, if you can't match the colour of a butterfly that you've drawn, then, you know, and you probably will not find the colour kicking about in a box. You, you're going to have to match and make your own colours and mix your colours. So colour mixing is, is a really good, and that's why I bought these. All these have their own vintage colours, which are delightful. Sorry about the light. A uh, certain time in the evening, my lights go bananas. <laughs> they go orange and they go bananas. So apologies for that. I mean, things like the... Is it the peony that? It's the most beautiful... My colour's out. It is a pink colour, that not peach, but really beautiful colours. So that's going to keep me quite happy. I only need three colour books. Technically, I need one, but I'm going to take three. Um, and I'm going to take my pastels, I'm going to take um, a sharp blade because um, I'm not ever said about cut doing this, but I was in the car uh, and I was on the motorway and I took that off my daughter because it's a very good pencil sharpener. But my drawing pencils and the pastels are really soft and you can literally sit there and annihilate a complete pencil so it's always better to use a blade uh, and Derwent have brought out this sharpening guard so you don't need to cut yourself it's perfectly okay and you're always sharpening away from yourself so it's like any knife cutting you always think if the, if the knife slips where is it going to go if it's going to go on you then you're using it wrong if it's going to slip and it's away and it's going to cut a mat or it's going to cut something else, then it's fine. Unless it's your best tablecloth. So I just thought you might like to see what I'm taking away with me this weekend and see how far I get. <laughs> but it's a good little book ba bag is this. You can put uh, crayons in it, pencils in it, pens in it, biros. And you can buy an extra two sleeves. I've had six full pencils in here um, but because I've now got um, a different way of storing things and I can just pick the bag up and take it on the sofa and actually work out of the bag it's not very often I take this off unless it's on the desk um, so it's a really good way to work in the car or, or wherever you happen to be and I will be working on a cushion tray uh, so that should keep me occupied for a good three days so thank you for watching.